Okay, this is DJ Spakomat with another tutorial. And let me begin with an age-old saying in the VJ scene. It must be like hundreds of years old. They say, give a VJ a Mandelbrot or a general fractal image or movie and he will have fun for a day. Give a man a Twitch Mandelbrot plug-in and he will have fun for the rest of his life. Keeping that in mind, I have to admit that I'm a big fractal fanatic running the Fractal Forums website which discovered the Mandel Bulb and the Mandel Box in the year of 2008. I start now with the Mandelbrot Twitch Hybrid plugin. I will later explain what the Twitch feature means. And you find the plugin after installing it to the Resolum folder or in any other FFGL plugin folder in the sources tab and it's SOM Spack Omat Mandel Twitch. And here we go. This is the default setting for the fractal. And as you can see, we have many parameters. They are divided in seats controlling, position, coloring and twitching. And let's start now with the coloring. You see here the scale U, scale saturation and scale value and the shift value parameters for the outer area. And the same for the inner area. By inner and outer area, um, the black area, normally black area of the money board is meant. And as you can see here, you can control the inner and the outer separately. It is a standard UHSV color range applied here and scale. So having this, we have another flag here to distinguish between Julia and Mandelbrot, uh, followed by a power parameter for the exponent of the Mandelbrot iteration. We have, this one goes to 10 and is scaled by 10, so 0 0.2 is the standard Mandelbrot. And you have a control about over the iteration of the depth. You can rotate it about the screen center. You can scale it. And you can shift it. By using the center and the scaling can get a bit fiddling, but it is generally valid to scroll to use ridiculous zoom values up to the current float limit which is like eight ah it's like six decimal points so now let's find a nice spot and the next and the most important part of the plugin is the seat controlling. As you can see here, we have three seats, which are all incorporated in the iteration process. Normally, the money road just has one seat, the starting point uh, defined as perturbation. And what we do now here is using the Twitch hybrid to add a certain value, seat one, two, or three, at specific locations in the iteration depth, which is controlled here. This is the full iteration, max iteration, first iteration. The later you, you start twitching your, your iteration, the more solid the image already has become. 
the more early you you shift it to to the starting iteration, the more influencing you are you influencing the rest of the iteration. Then we have the actual seed values, and I zoom out a little bit to give you a better impression of what is going on. So you control the seed value, respectively imaginary and real axis, or for the non-mathematicians, it is the x and y axis. And as you can see here, when I do the second iteration, the second seed, just the rest of the non-bailed out points to that point are influenced. Okay, and the search parameter then takes the remaining iterations and influences them. And this alone gives you a nice control over what you actually see by scaling and rotating the stuff. This is already fine, but the engines of the VJ scene told me they want to have some dynamic. And this dynamic I have incorporated using the speed and the radius. For each seat you have a speed and a radius. And the radius actually controls a pass around the current seat value, which is this, seat 1, x and y. And in the beginning it was a circle, but I used some prime numbers to, to make it a non-repeating circle. Um, so it is orbiting the point defined by the seed x and y coordinates with the speed given by seed 1 speed and the radius given by radius. The larger the radius, the faster the changes are. And as you can see here, you give the speeds for seed 1 and seed 2 and seed 3. Just to give you an impression and that it is working, I incorporate now all three parameters in motion. Let's see what's happening. We rotate back to zero to make it easier to move. And we just want to take a look on what is happening here. And you can see this is some nice dynamic going on here. Far better than what you expect with just a Mandelbrot with a perturbation parameter. And this works as well for the Julia mode. And that's basically it. To give you an idea of what you can do with it, for example, if you have a nice location in your money boat set, like this Elephant Valley part that I have here, which is located right at the right corner of the money boat, you get some nice effects when just playing with these parameters. And I scale down to the point zero 0.05 and give the speeds some thing to do. And you zoom a little bit out to zero 0.008 and you see the Elephant Valley in motion here and which can all be assigned to the sound and you can move backward and forward with the speed. Okay, that's it. Invite me to your parties. Show me what you do. Give me inspiration for new plugins. Subscribe my channel. Comment my videos. But the most important stuff thing is use my plugins and stuff and create amazing VJ shows where the people are just smashed against their walls and don't want to leave the party at all. See you next time.